Hello, my name is Modred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to this stream of Mad Games Tycoon 2. Uh, for those of you who've been following the channel for a while, you will be very familiar that I like this type of game. I like the kind of game development development simulators, <laughs> um, where basically you have a games company, usually just one dude sitting in a garage typing away, at least in the 80s, and then it expands into making a full-fledged AAA monstrosity generating thing like Blizzard or something like that. Um, <clears throat> there are two main games in the genre at the moment, so it's got Indie Games Tycoon... No, is it, what's it called? I was literally just looking it up. Indie Games Tycoon? Is that it? No. Games. Where is it? Uh. Okay, seriously, I was just looking this up. Where is it? Game Dev Tycoon. That was the first one. And then um, Mad Games Tycoon came out after that, which is by a different company and was a little bit more in-depth. And now they have come up with Mad Games Tycoon 2, which is what we are playing now. So this is still an early access. There are still going to be things missing, still things being developed and things being added. And there are probably going to be bugs and that type of thing as well but it already has really good reviews over on steam it's looking as very positive um so i am encouraged by that and most of the steam reviews i've been reading haven't said anything about bugs or anything so we shall see how this goes have i tried software inc i haven't i've watched um shenry playing that though that didn't seem as much about making games that was more just general software though All right, so we're going to start a new game. We're going to call ourselves Mord Corp, because of course we are. And we're going to choose a image, and they've got quite a few different options here. And I do like how they've like made up lots and lots of companies, like Sega, <laughs> Capcoms instead of Capcom. Uh, nice, Katari instead of Atari. Kamani, Unisoft, <laughs> 3D reality instead of 3D realms, Green Isle instead of Black Isle, Blizzard Studios, Frog instead of Bullfrog, ID, Lionhead. I'm guessing that's meant to be Apple. <laughs> EA is just EA. That hasn't changed. Um, who else do I recognize? Infocorp. Oh, Micro Arts instead of, um, it's not Microsoft, Micro Pros. Micro Arts instead of Micro Pros. Minisoft instead of Microsoft. Namco instead of Namco Bandai. Blue Ocean instead of Blue Byte. Origio instead of Origin. Sierra instead of Sierra. Pony instead of Sony. Uh, who else? Quantum Dream, not sure who that one is. Uh, that's Rockstar, which I guess is like Blue Star or something. Naughty Bear is um, Naughty Dark, yes. What's Roman D? That would be Romero. TechSoft. I feel like I should recognise that one too. Eastwood instead of Westwood. <laughs> oh, there it is. Naughty Bear instead of Naughty Dark. Yep, yep. Looking Glass instead of Sunglass. Lionhead, ID. Eric instead of Epic. Form instead of From Studios. Nice. Uh, info Game. Inter Games. Oh, instead of uh, Interplay. Sensible Studio. In instead of Sensible. Sensible instead of Sensible. Um. SSI. That's, that's just the same, I think. Apache Green Bite instead of Blue Bite. Wait, that's Blue Bite. Then what's that? I'm not sure. And then we have lots of random just shapes. And what are we going to pick for ours? Oh, 
Oh, disk project instead of CD project. I didn't see that one. That's a good one. Seventy six for Bethesda. Um, maybe that because it looks like a pile of gold. I'm leaning towards this just because it looks like a pile of gold. We're going to say our company headquarters is in. Oh, right. This gives you bonuses on the number of sales depending on what you make. So ordinarily, I like my strategy games. Which would be Sweden? I think that we should be a Swedish company. More docs instead of paradox. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking the idea of being based in Sweden. Sounds like a good plan, Swedish Vikings making games. Yeah, exactly. Uh, level of difficulty, we'll stick with medium. Start year, 1976, sure. Game speed, normal. Number of competitors, 71, sure. What's the one that looks like an M? Got like the V soft. I'm not seeing any that looks like an M. Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. This looks like an M. Yeah, we'll, we'll stick with the gold. It's just good business. Oh, wow. We even get a, uh, a player avatar. All right, then. different options here. This is good. You can have any colour top as long as it's not actually one of the options. Damn it! I'm going to go with dark blue. There's no black. How can you not have black? I think that's going to be as close as it gets. And yeah, we're going to have gold edgings. Mordok's raiding neighbours for their code since 1976. Oh, I like it. Okay, then our profession. Yeah, we're going to be a game designer. Scientist, technician, game tester, office worker, sound artist, graphic designer, programmer, or designer. I'm definitely going to go with designer. I'm going to say that I'm all right at the old game design gig. I'm freaking terrible at programming. Graphic design, I'm all right. Music and sound, not really interested. Marketing and support, not really interested. Game testing, uh, actually marketing and support, I'm probably all right at. I'm going to say something like that. Game design and marketing. That's basically what I did. I'm going to get rid of the graphic design. We're going to go to a 50 in. Game design. I mean, if I wanted to really max this out, I could go all the way in game design, but I don't think I will. I think we're going to balance ourselves a little bit. So, perks. CEO, your character does not lose motivation. Star designer. Star designers create hype for the games they work on. Inexhaustible employees don't need breaks. Error-free employees never create bugs. Okay, that's going to be nice to have on a programmer. Talented, learn quicker. Luck, critical work results occasion... Critical work results occur significantly more frequently. Sporty movement speed is increased. Orderly, ordinary employees do not make dirt and garbage. Medical miracle, employees have a strong immune system and never get sick. Iron, these employees do not go to the toilet during working hours. Leadership, employees with strong leadership bonus give a bonus if they are deployed as the lead developer. 
An all-rounder. Limit for secondary abilities is increased. Oh, yeah, it is. Um, I'll probably just say I'm the CEO. Perk boosts morale of employees by providing tea! Star designer is the Peter Molyneux train. Yes, it is. Or the Todd Howard. All right. Wait, can I have more? Oh. I can have up to four perks. Well, I think I'm going to have to go with the star designer. And I think I'm going to go with leadership. Probably luck. Or maybe talented. I'll go talented. Okay. Better to be lucky than good. Yeah, true. Alright, we'll go luck. Oh, I can have both! I feel like that unselected one. As long as we have star designer and leadership and CEO, I'm happy. Okay, those will do. And that's just turning around. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that's an awful lot of perks, but I guess we are the main character. We're not disabling the tutorial, because we do need to know that. Random fact for reviews, no random events. Yes, historical random events, sure. We'll just leave everything as normal. Seems reasonable to me. Thanks for purchasing Mad Games Tycoon 2. I did actually get this from the developers, so just FYI. Please keep in mind that the early access version still lacks many features. The game is unbalanced in some places and bugs may occur. Well, I should definitely have taken the never creates bugs in programs then, shouldn't I? Furthermore, all transactions are very faulty. Have fun. Hello and welcome to Mad Games Tycoon 2. I will explain to you the basics of the game. Let's start on how to move the camera. WASD moves the camera. Hold down the right mouse button and move the mouse. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, you can buy more garages. I love how we are literally in the garage. <laughs> and we're just lucky because we just have this massive complex around us where we could build into if we wanted to. But for, the, for now, we're just in the garage. You can also rotate and zoom. You can use uh, Y and X. Wait, why is Y? Okay, that's not very clear. <laughs> like as far apart as possible. Hold down the middle mouse button and move. That's a lot easier than scroll wheel to zoom. As you probably noticed, you need to build a studio in your garage. To earn some extra money, you should first sell your old sports car. Click on the old sports car. I don't want to sell my old sports car. You get 20 grand for this. Fine. Now we should start building the game studio. Is that literally our starting funny money? That is indeed our starting money. Nice. Now, two-point hospital engine. I uh, doubt it. No, this is made in Unity. I don't think it is two-point hospital. Very similar art style, though, that's for sure. On Quartz Z keyboards, Y and X are next to each other. Oh! Okay, that makes more sense. Because I think this is made in Germany, I want to say. Not sure. Egg Code. I think the company that makes this is Egg Code. Where are they based? It was a trap! Now with the car sold, you're forever trapped in the shed. No! Now we should start building the game studio. To build rooms, you need to click the marked button and select the room you want. Click on the marked button, build rooms, and select development. To design a room, hold down the left mouse button while moving the mouse. Keep in mind, each room must have a door. Design the room, place a door, click accept. So how about we put it over here, and we'll make it a 5x5? 5x5. That's really expensive, never mind. Is 
It's going to be like a 3x3, three three, isn't it? I can't even afford a 3x3. Three three. Must be a 3x3. Three three. Which is more money than we have. Oh, that is a five. I was thinking that was a money sign. Okay, so we have a lot more money than I realized. Must have got some seed capital from somewhere. So we're going to go with the five by five. 62 grand. Yeah, if, if, if I was a game designer, starting with half a million in the bank, there is a lot you can do. Because there is a lot you can do with zero in the bank. Believe me, I've tried. Uh, to design a room, hold down the left mouse. In fact, I started a studio with a starting bankroll of £50. Pounds. That was mostly so that we could buy a phone, so that we could try developing for mobile. And my programmer didn't have a smartphone at the time, so I bought him one. With 520000 the bank, you could stream games full-time. Yeah, you could. Screw the development stuff. Could even do it without adverts enabled. In the 70s, that was a lot of money. In the 2020s, that's a lot of money. Uh, okay, so we then need to place a door, which is this one. And I think we're just going to have the doors going out in this direction. So we stick in the middle. And then I guess we want a window. We can't do window. Oh, they have to be facing that way. I see. Put a window there. And that's the only one that we'll do for now. What's that? Remove rooms. No, we're not going to remove anything. And then accept. Now you should buy some objects for the room. Every employee needs a workplace, but you should also make sure the employees do not freeze or work in a dirty environment. So we're going to need a workplace one because these newer ones have not become available yet. So we'll put that in front of the window. Something like that. And then we'll put some cabinets in. Employees are more motivated when they work in well-equipped offices. I don't care about cabinets. cabinets. I'm a CEO. I don't lack for motivation. Trash can we can do. I don't think I become unhappy either. Uh, sick employees to heal themselves with their medicine cabinet. And then we probably want heating. Lamp. <laughs> you know it's better because it's got an E on it. Okay, I think that'll probably do for a start. It's important to know that your employees have needs that should be met. Dissatisfied employees tend to quit. Therefore, a lounge and a toilet is a must for any game studio. Wow, we're starting bigger than just in our basement. Now you should assign a game character to the development room. To do this, click on the game character and drop him in the dev room. Now we can finally develop a game. To give a room a task, click on the button above the room. The menu with various options appears. Click the button on the development room, select develop a game. As you can see, some options are not available. However, these unlock later in the game. To create a new game, click on new game. You have many different settings available for the game. Scroll through the pages on the menu and customize the game to your liking. When you are done, click the button with a green tick. Design the game according to your wishes. Start on start development. So what are we going to make first? Yeah, I, I like this name. I think this is a good name. That's true. We are in the 
we're in the 80s still. This is like pre-graphics. So this is going to be something text-based, probably. Well, let's see what's available. What genres are here? Skill game. So this is going to be like uh, Pac-Man. About cooking, crocodiles, or espionage. Let's make an espionage skill game. Uh, so what are we going to call this? Super Spy Man. Super Spy Man, I think, would be later. I'll go with Spy Man. Target group, adults. Game size, as small as we possibly can make it. Type of game. Standard MMO, free to play. Standard. Lead designer, me, naturally. I'm a star designer. And we're not using a license. Okay. I think that this is everything we need. What's that? Oh. Oh, game description. A game of spies. Either you spy or you die. There we go. Good description. And what are these buttons? Game concepts, game analysis, fan letters. So we don't have any concepts. We don't have any analysis. We have no fan mail. And this will cost us 20 grand to start. Start development. Platform must be selected. So we can either do this on the Byte 1 or the Fairtech CF. The Byte one has a 91% market share. And it will require keyboard support. Okay. Now that's true. We, n we never made an engine. I guess we need to buy one. Doesn't look like most of that stuff's in yet. Uh, so we can either go without an engine or we could buy an engine. There are none available, so... We're going to be making this without an engine. This is going to go well. Huzzah! Congrats with that description. Season 8 is officially your fault. Oh, thanks. Uh, Lord Cucumber coming in with a 25-month resubscription. Thank you so much for the ongoing support there. Really appreciate that. Thank you, Cucumber. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying safe. I've heard that some bad things are going down in the Netherlands. So I hope you're doing alright. Although I don't know whether that's usual news inflation of the facts or what. British news uh, about Europe is never usually particularly balanced. It's quite now. Good. And yeah, with half a million in the bank to do this, I could totally have kept my car. Didn't have to sell that. At least one language must be selected. Swedish. Fine. I'll go with American, and we'll spell everything wrong. Okay, so design priorities. There are more tabs. Not sure what you mean.
You sold the car, so you had to escape opportunities to work on the game. Yeah, that's true. Okay, well, this one is definitely going to go gameplay because what are visuals at this point? Uh, story versus game length. I think that's more like short game. What the hell does that slider even mean? We're making an action game, so this is probably game length. Atmosphere versus content. This could really do with like a question mark, and then it tells you exactly what it means by these topics. That was always a problem in the uh, the first game. Oh yeah, I know. It goes through the tabs automatically. We're going to make this for core gamers a casual. I think that this is an action game, so it's going to be for casual. This is definitely going to be beginner friendly. Atmosphere versus content. Surely content is atmosphere. Kind of the same with story and game length. If, if you have a long story. Well, I guess this is basically saying if you have an intricate story, you don't have a very long game. Not sure I necessarily agree with that, either. Go full Dark Souls in an era when many people don't play games. We need to turn people into gamers first. I think I'm just going to leave that one in the middle because I don't really know what that one means. And then work priority. We're definitely going to put more into game play. We're going to do a little bit less on sound and technical because I suck at programming. Uh, we're going to make this as if we're a game designer, as opposed to a programmer. Alright, gameplay feature. We need keyboard support, that's required. And I think pause function? For an arcade game? Costs an extra two grand. We're going to make that back? I kind of doubt we will. So, we'll do that. And there we go. So far, so good to adjust the game speed or to pause the game. You can click on the marked buttons. Now click on the faster game speed and make your character start working. I mean, he's already working. Spy Man, an exhausted programmer, spent the last few hours reworking core elements. Unfortunately, he was so unfocused that we got 29 bugs. <laughs> and this is why you don't get me making games. Oh, dear. Alright, why are you unhappy? Uncomfortable. Why are you uncomfortable? Oops. No, don't, don't move around. Ah! How do I put you back? Thought we were paused. Apparently we're not paused. Still not paused. Oh, every time I click it on pauses? That's a bit annoying. Um, I wanted to put some more items in here. So we'll go with a fancy old cabinet for 2,000, which we'll put... How do I rotate? Cabinet there. And a radio. Okay, now we're happy. Does it come up with, like, details of the room anywhere? 